Praise the Lord. Father God, we thank you. We are trusting that everything that we need to know for this week, Father God, as we, as we start the week, you are going to release it for us. Father, we are trusting you for divine supernatural speed in this season of our lives, in this week. Show it to us, Lord, through our interaction, in our fellowship, in our prayers, and in us sharing the word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Hey, guys, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and, and a wonderful time of rest. I'm very excited. We've been on extra slow mode in South Africa because we had an unplanned holiday of sorts today. But yeah, we carry on. This is the week of my birthday. So I'm very excited. In less than 72 hours on Wednesday, it's my birthday. So I'm really looking forward to it. But tonight, let's get into the word. Tonight, I want us to talk about supernatural speed. And that is what I've dedicated this week. And I'm asking God, and I'm asking God, and standing in the gap for you and me, that he gives us supernatural speed. And our anchor scripture is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. If you're taking notes and you're journaling, our scripture is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. We're going to go into prayers fairly quickly today. So make sure you are keeping up with me. I'm going to rush. If I do call out a scripture, I may not read all of it. I may paraphrase it or you, you can just, you're welcome to just go and read on it later as well. Amen. Welcome, Amelia. Everybody. Yes, Ovi. Thank you so much for those um, <laughs> confetti. So it is a special week for me. March is a very special month for me. So what is the Lord saying to us tonight? Supernatural speed. Isaiah 40 verse 28 says, do you not know, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth does not become tired or grow weary. Isn't it good to know that we serve a God that does not get tired? Amen. Imagine if, if, you know, if we had, God had to be like us. Oh yes, Amelia, supernatural speed. God gives supernatural speed. He does not grow weary. He does not grow tired. There is no searching of his understanding. This is what the scripture tells us. It says he gives strength to the weary, those who are tired, those who just feel like they need an extra oomph and an extra push and says and to him who has no might he increases power so he says if you need that mighty mighty pill or mighty boost he says he will give you the power that you need the power to embark on any project that you want to embark on he says even the young people the youth they grow weary and tired and vigorous men may stumble badly so he says even it's not about age but it's about sustainability relying on the god that shows up amen somebody he says but those who wait on the lord hallelujah those who wait who don't give up those who don't give up on the process those who don't give up when things look bleak. He says, those who wait on the Lord, those who serve God while they are waiting for their promises to manifest, those who are waiting on the Lord, trusting him to show them the direction while they are building up their families or building up their businesses or their careers. He says, those that wait on me, they wait on me. They are not stagnant. They are moving. Waiting is like when you are in a restaurant and the waiter brings you food. That person is in service. So he likes people who are in motion. He says, you keep moving. You keep on waiting on me you keep on serving me in my kingdom you keep on showing up for me and those who are those are the people i keep on giving strength because the more they are waiting on me they are waiting on the word of god they are waiting while they are feeding themselves and meditating with the word. They are renewed daily. Daily they renew themselves. Their mind is renewed daily. Therefore, they are refreshed daily. They keep on moving. Those who are waiting on God are those who are moving. And he says, those that are waiting on the Lord, who are expectant that I'm still a God that can show up, a God that can do so much more in their lives. Those who are expectant, who live a life of hopefulness and expectancy. Talk to me, somebody. He says, those who are looking for him, diligently seeking him daily and night those are the people who are hoping in him who are saying god is hope christ in me the hope of glory the hope of a turnaround the hope of me making it in this life but those who wait on the lord they will gain new strength so every time you are embarking on a new expectation a new hope he says you will gain strength and he says i will renew your power he says they will lift up their wings like an eagle and rise up close to god so he they're saying they're not flying like birds you're not a chicken he says you 
you are an eagle. He says they will mount up their wings like eagles. They will fly close to the sun. Hallelujah. You are riding on the sun. You are riding there where the moon features there right on top. You are riding there with the sun. Hallelujah. They will run and not become weary and they will walk and not grow tired. So he says you get supernatural energy. The supernatural juice you need. The supernatural petrol that you need. The fired up generator that you need. You are the solar system. He puts the solar system inside of you. There is no blackout for you, darling. There is no blackout. There is no load shedding for you. You keep on charging forward. Do I have any believers in the house today who are excited and are ready to embark on supernatural speed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish you could type that amen well. I wish you could really type that amen well. So God is saying tonight he wants us to get an understanding of the supernatural speed that he has given to us. He has already given to us. He says he wants you to unlock it. Hallelujah. So anytime God speaks a thing to us, saints, that means he's about to do it. He's about to reset somebody's supernatural speed. Maybe your petrol gauge was a bit low and you're saying, Fortune, I cannot go at 180 kilometers per hour. No, you you can charge on ahead if you like go on 220 go on 300 hit that accelerator amen somebody so god is saying i'm bringing a word to you this this week and saying you are about to embark on supernatural speed which means i'm about to shift you right now in jesus mighty name god has ordered a supernatural speed for a supernatural shift amen somebody hallelujah so he, he he says there are characteristics that we have passed through there are seasons that we have passed through that we are not happy about there are seasons that somebody has gone through frustration there is somebody who is listening to me who has gone through exasperation there is somebody who has gone through depression and despair god says i know that that is the person i'm showing up for tonight i'm showing up for that person that i'm giving a supernatural shift to amen come on somebody he says those who are exhausted those who are weary those who are exhausted those who are deprived who are saying i've been going through a season of lack god says i'm about to give you supernatural acceleration i'm about to remove that deprivation i'm about to remove that scarcity you don't have to have a scarcity mentality talk to me somebody he says that person who have been having stagnant visions and dreams and plans your visions have not been moving they've been stagnant your plans have been stagnant he says i'm about to shift you did somebody order a shift from God. Somebody type shift. Type it in the comment section. Shift me, Lord. Shift me, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Facebook, I hope you're tracking together with me. He says, I'm here. I'm here for those who have retrogressed. But retrogression is when things go back in your life. Have you ever been in that season where you get the blessings of God and it's like the next month, everything, you just taking 10 steps back? I don't know whether you've been in that situation, but I know I've been. Sometimes it looks like, oh my God, when you look at your bank account, you're saying, oh God, I cannot be on overdraft. I am a lender, not a borrower. Come on, somebody. God wants to show up for the one who has retrogressed. Maybe you have seen certain things. You have been in regression. God is saying, I'm ordering a restoration, not only a restoration, but I'm ordering a shift and it will come at a supernatural speed. Somebody type shift me, Lord. Hallelujah. There's a somebody who's listening to me who's saying, oh God, I've been confused. I've been perplexed. Come on, somebody. Somebody has been looking at the economy and has been listening to the news and has been hearing all these bad things that are being said in the news, in the broadcast and everything. You're getting discouraged. You're wondering. They keep on telling you that there's going to be a food scarcity. There's going to be economic collapses and everything. Listen, baby girl. Listen, son. Son of God. Child of God. That you, we are not concerned about the economic situation. We are. Not, our father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He owns the silver and gold. We are not going to panic over any economic depression repression whatever they call it there is a god that is a god of speed talk to me somebody somebody type in that comment section supernatural speed god will give his children supernatural speed over any economic depression that is coming on in the mighty name of jesus because he says when those who are serving me i have given you examples in my book that there are those that have served me elijah served me hallelujah and and and, and saw my speed come to life in jesus mighty name he says i'm a god of a drastic intervention Oh, Jesus, supernatural speed. I wish somebody could type it in. Hallelujah. There's something that you need to note about the people that serve God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
he reminds us, he says, I must remind you, he says, I'm a God of a drastic intervention. I intervene drastically. Look at what he says in the book of Psalms 126 verse 1 to 5. He says, when the Lord brought back the captives from Zion, we were like those who dreamt. It seemed so unreal. God is a God that is able to turn around your captivity. He's able to take you out of whatever prison that they've put you in or you've put yourself in or you are even thinking of putting yourself in. Today, this week, you have no option. They, you are, he's turning around your captivity in the name of Jesus. When God turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Hallelujah. The Bible says we were like those who dreamt. It seemed unreal. It seemed unbelievable. The Thomas anointing was getting on us. We were starting to doubt. It was like, is this really us? We were like those who dreamt. Then our mouths were filled with laughter. Somebody is about to be filled with laughter this evening. Talk to me, somebody. I said, God is filling you with laughter. Hallelujah. You will laugh last. They thought they will laugh last, but you will laugh last. Hallelujah. You will laugh. Hallelujah. You will laugh. God is going to fill. He says, and our tongues were filled with joyful shouting. Somebody shout for joy right now. Shout for joy. Give Jesus a shout of joy. Joy, joy, joy. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We are about to shout for joy. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Then they said amongst the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Hallelujah. That is the testimony that they will see in your life this week. They will look at you, at you and they say, the Lord has done great things for loveness. The Lord has done great things for Amelia. The Lord has done great things for fortune. Talk to me, somebody. He says, the Lord has done great things and you will be glad because they were glad. We have the same testimony. We come from the same bloodline. Talk to me, somebody. He says, we were as the stream beds in the south of, uh, 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 and, and we were received restored like torrents of rain. So God, he says, I'm going to restore you like a storm, a torrent of rain. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. So what God is saying, he's saying, I'm a God of drastic intervention. When men are down to nothing, I'm up to something. Oh, I said something there. I said, when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. Facebook, YouTube, when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. Hallelujah. Number two, he says, we serve a God of total restoration. He is a God of total restoration. Not only does he come in drastically to intervene in your situation, but he's there to restore you totally, not half-heartedly. Look at what he says in the book of Jewel, chapter 2, verse 25 to 27. He says, and I will compensate you for the years that the canker worm has stolen, the locust has eaten. I don't know what locusts have been eating up in your life. Maybe they have stolen your years of, in work, your, your, your years of a beautiful marriage. They've robbed you of a beautiful marriage. Maybe your husband walked out on you for a few years and whatever. God is saying, I'm about to restore you in the name of Jesus. He says, I will compensate you. I will compensate you. I will pay you back double for that. He says that the, the years that the locusts have stolen, the creeping locusts, the stripping locusts, whatever kind of locust it was, whether it stripped you, whether it clipped up on you and he says the knowing locust my great army will i send amongst you he's releasing a whole army imagine not even the police baby he's releasing the whole army the whole army the whole all of all of the army is coming. He's saying, my army, my great army, not even the second graders, not even the B, B flanks, but the A flanks, the ones who are going into battle for you. He says, you will have plenty to eat and you will be satisfied. That means he's a God of enough. He's a God of more than enough. He's a God that eradicates scarcity. I decree and I declare there will be no scarcity for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God is canceling your scarcity. God is canceling anything that has to do with not enough. You will not use the words not enough for your testimonies in Jesus mighty name the Bible says you will not only have plenty to eat and be satisfied he says you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you is there somebody who's ready for a wondrously dealt dealing you want God to wonder you want to uh, to be a wonder to receive wonders hallelujah he says I would have dealt wondrously with you hallelujah and my people shall never be put to shame I wish somebody could shout on that he says, you will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. It's not me. It is what the word is com co confirming. Jewel chapter 2 tells me that you will not be put to shame because you are a child of God. He is putting you into total restoration. Hallelujah. And you shall know because he's not going to put you to shame. His reputation is at stake and he's going to make sure that you make it in this life. As long as you play ball and you work along with him. Amen. And he, you, you will know, you will know that I'm in the midst of Israel. I'm in your life, Amelia. I'm I'm in your life, Obi. I'm in your life, Vanessa. God says he is in your life. Amen, somebody. And you will know that I am.
am the Lord, your God. I am the one who is in charge. Amen. I'm the one who is in charge. I'm the Lord, your God. And there is no other. And my people shall not be put to shame. My people shall not be put to shame. He says he's a God of complete restoration. God of complete restoration. Listen to this. He not, this guy is just drastic. When he shows up for you and shows up for you. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. 1 Samuel 30 verse 8. What, how are we doing for time? Okay, we're still good. 1 Samuel 38, it says, David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I pursue this band of raiders? I don't know who has been raiding your life. I don't know who has been giving you headache, who has been giving you restless nights, who has been giving you a restless life. But he says, those band of raiders that you are asking God, what shall I do with this band of raiders? Listen to what he said to King David. When David inquired, he says, shall I pursue them? This is the instruction that he gave David. And this is the instruction that he's giving us today. He says, don't panic whether or not you will overtake them. They may have started early. They may have gotten off the mark earlier than you. But he says, don't panic. He says, I'm giving you the charge. I'm giving you the prophetic answer to go ahead. He says, pursue. Don't only pursue, but also overtake. And you shall definitely overcome. He says, pursue, for you will certainly overtake them. And you will certainly rescue your people. Pursue. Pursue your enemies, you will overtake them, you will overcome them. Do not allow the enemy to come into your life to run, run skelter, skelter, doing as they want. No. Put your things in order. You see something is not in order with your children, put it in order. Speak, use your mouth. He says, pursue that enemy and you tell that enemy, you leave my child alone. My children shall prosper. My family shall prosper. They shall live well. Hallelujah. Divine health is my portion. Hallelujah. Divine health is the portion of my family. These Egyptians, my family has had enough of. These Egyptians we will not see anymore. We will live and celebrate God every single day of our lives. We will have a good life. You will pursue them. You will overcome them. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Andy. Hallelujah. Pursue, you will certainly overtake them. You will certainly rescue them. You will rescue the captives. So tonight, God has come out for you. He says that you are going to be rescued in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 19 of the same scripture, he says, nothing of theirs was missing. This is the end result that God gave them. He says, theirs, nothing was missing. So when you look back on your life, in this week, you are going to see the evidence where God is showing you that everything has been restored. Nothing will be missing, whether it was a small thing or a big thing, hallelujah. He says, nothing of yours will be spoiled, hallelujah, because you would have recovered everything that the devil stole from you in Jesus' name. You will capture their flocks and their heads, hallelujah. Nothing will spoil. Somebody type supernatural speed. Oh, Jesus. Then thirdly, he says, you need to know that we serve a God of supernatural acceleration. And we saw it from the scripture that I read when I opened in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. He shows it to you. He says, you will mount up like your wings, like an eagle. You will fly close to the sky. You are not a chicken. You will not die like a chicken. You will not live like a chicken. You will not live like a nobody. He says, your, your position is there on the sky. The sun does not argue with anybody up there. The sun does not say my swag or the somebody who's got a better swag than me right there in the sky where you are unmissable the sun doesn't argue with anybody supernatural speed he says reach beyond the skies go and and and, and sit there with the sun you are an eagle fly high fly high fly high hallelujah so catch up hallelujah he says he's releasing that supernatural speed that will happen at the frequency of heaven. It doesn't happen at the frequency of your local radio station, but this is going to be happening at the frequency of, super, of, of heaven. Your supernatural speed will come at the frequency of heaven. Number two, he says it will happen at the acceleration, at the pace of God, not at anybody else's pace. Hallelujah. If God wants you to jump three years ago and into one day, he will do that. He will accelerate you. What others will struggle three or five years for, you will be able to achieve 
in a twinkling of an eye, in a day, in a 24-hour cycle, in this week, in seven days, God can turn your situation around. What is the kind of supernatural speed that he's releasing? He's releasing a supernatural speed that he's saying it is extraordinary beyond a human comprehension. Hallelujah. What is this supernatural acceleration he's talking about? He says no human effort can account for it. Hallelujah. No human resources can account for it. No human wisdom can account for it. So when they look at it, they will not be able to rationalize it and how you came about it. Talk to me, somebody. He says this is a supernatural amplification of actions that you would have taken. It is amplification. I'm amplifying you. I am compounding my love on you. I'm compounding my joy on you. I'm compounding my prosperity on you. You, If you know anything about compounded interest, if interest upon interest, hallelujah, and we charge the interest on the compounded interest, God is compounding the supernatural speed that he's releasing for you. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Supernatural amplification of his actions. Hallelujah. That means you take one step, it's like you have taken a thousand steps ahead. One step is equal to a thousand steps ahead. Where, what is that dimension, Fortune? It's a dimension when you know that this is not by might, not by power, but by the supernatural speed of the Holy Ghost. It's not by might. It's not by my power, but it is by the speed of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Position yourself, saints. Position yourself. Hallelujah. So, as I close... This is what he says. He says, the profitability or the necessity for this speed. You have, there's profitability that you're going to experience from this supernatural speed. Number one, why is it coming? To escape stagnation and frustration. He says tonight, from tonight, in this week, as you continue to declare the supernatural speed, you are going to escape stagnation and you are going to ex escape frustration. Hallelujah. And your scripture there is Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 6, where we see Jesus coming on the boat and borrowing the boat from the disciples. He says, borrow me a boat. He says, let's launch out into the deep. He says, come on, fishermen. What have you been up to? The fisherman says, we've been toiling all night. We've been fishing all night and nothing came about. There's no results. I've been serving this God. There's been no results. He says, no, 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 no. Come back again. Put your boat inside the river. Let us go into the deep. Let me show you what I'm about to do for you. The Bible says they went into, the, nevertheless, I like the way King James put it. It says, nevertheless, at your word, Jesus, we will go back again. So nevertheless, at your word, I'm getting into my car and I'm going full speed ahead. Supernatural speed is my portion. He says, nevertheless, they went in and what did they do? They experienced net breaking blessings. Therefore, he says, those are the kind of blessings he's releasing tonight. Hallelujah in Jesus name. So secondly, what is that, that you are going to profit? He says the recovery of wasted and lost years. We saw it in the, the book of Jewel chapter tw two that we read on and the book of first Samuel chapter 30. Thirdly, lastly, he says the generation, you will become a generation of impact. Hallelujah. You will become a generation of impact. You are going to escape any enemy's orchestration. Whatever the enemy is orchestrating, you will escape it. He's providing a way of escape. You know when you're on a supernatural speed, not even the cops can catch you on that highway. Hallelujah. You're on a supernatural speed. They can't catch up with you. No human will catch up with you. Hallelujah. And then he says that you will be a generation of impact. You will make an impact. You will not go out just like that. People will know that you have been here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse 24 to 27 says, do you not know that all the races and all the races, there are runners. Everybody's a runner, but there is one that wins. There is one that receives the crown. Make up your mind that this week you are taking the crown. The Lord is crowning you this week. This week in that race that you are running, whatever race you are in. Some of you are in a race in, in, in school. You are in a race in different aspects of your life. Whatever the context, you are going to get the crown. God is crowning. He said there is a race that people run, but in that race, there is one that gets the crown. There is, can only be one number one. You decide which position you are taking. Amen, somebody. They say no one rise, runs idly without a purpose. Nobody can enter a, a, a marathon without a purpose to win. So when people enter marathons, they enter with the mindset that they're going to win. And this is what the Lord is saying. He says they do it to win the crown. You know that you entered. Nobody entered to be number last. Just to say, I did the Comrades Marathon. No. We enter with the purpose to win. Hallelujah. He says, I do not fray, fray, flay, flay. Oh God, this word. I do not frail around like one beating the air. He says, I don't, I don't box like I'm boxing the air. I'm boxing aimfully. Hallelujah. I'm hitting the enemy where it matters the most. I'm hitting the right spots. Hallelujah. But like a boxer, like a person who is disciplined, I discipline my body. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So that after I have preached, I myself will not somehow be disqualified, not fit for service. Imagine, imagine if we were to, you know, you are serving God and you are, you are praising God. You are doing all that is required and you are disqualified. The devil is a liar. You will not be disqualified. Therefore, you will get your crown in this week in Jesus' mighty name. And lastly, he says, the profiting that you will get from the supernatural speed that I'm releasing this week is that there will be a fulfillment of your destiny on schedule, on time. Your destiny will be fulfilled on schedule and on time, within your lifetime, not tomorrow. So God is blessing you tonight. Type it in that comment section and before we get into our prayers. Type it, supernatural speed, supernatural speed, supernatural speed. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Father God. So he wants you to make that decision, decision that I will not be stagnant. I will not be stagnant. I want us to pray. Father, in this season, for what you are releasing in my life, in this week, I am making a decision that I will not be stagnant. Hallelujah. I will fulfill destiny. Hallelujah. You will not be like the prodigal son who is sitting out there, who is not at his father's house. You will not be struggling when you know that the father is waiting for you to come back. God is calling back all the prodigal sons and daughters to come back to the fold. He says, here in my house, there is plenty, there is sufficiency. I only need your decision to make. If you make the decision that I will not be stagnant, I will not be stagnant. I will not be stagnant, but I'm applying the supernatural speed. I wish you could type that amen louder. Type that amen louder. Hallelujah. He's asking you, he's making an invitation that you connect to the God of acceleration. He says, connect to my acceleration speed. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for renewing our strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for lifting up our wings and mounting up our wings like wings of an eagle. Thank you, Lord, for positioning us in, in heavenly places, in right there next to the sun in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that our stars will continue to shine brighter. Anybody's star that has been stolen, Father God, restore it now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that your star will shine brighter and brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. That realm that you have been waiting to get to, child of God, you are reaching that realm in this week in the mighty name of Jesus. From this position, from this point tonight, you shall be found in the realm that you want to be in, the dimension that you want to be in. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has used to cage you, I command a release. I command a release and a breaking of the shackles that have been holding you back. In the mighty name of Jesus, I wish you could type that amen well. You will not be stagnant. I wish you could type that amen well. I wish you could type that amen in a believing way. Hallelujah. Roko Father, as we close this broadcast tonight, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you have set our feet on a divine speed, that we will achieve success and great progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. The Lord is issuing a divine grace to your home for divine speed, for dynamic speed. God is releasing dynamic speed and acceleration for you. In the name of Jesus, I wish you could receive it. I wish you could type that amen well in Jesus' mighty name. What others are suffering to achieve, you will achieve without any problem. The anointing for divine speed is released right now in your house, in your family, in your business. In the mighty name of Jesus, the anointing for divine speed is is being released in your ministry right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will accelerate your success and progress in the mighty name of Jesus. You will experience dynamic success in every field. Every field. Dynamic success is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is opening up the doors of greatness for you in Jesus mighty name. The doors of greatness will not only be open for you, but it will open for your generation and your three generations to come in the mighty name of Jesus. You will make a mark and you will leave an impact on this world in Jesus mighty name. In this week, Father God, Father God, a scheduled divine speed, divine acceleration this week, not tomorrow, not, not, not next week, Father God, but in this week, Father God, show up for us and show us your goodness, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. I said, I declare and decree doors of greatness are opening for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every obstacle in front of you, in front of your family, every obstacle in front of your business, in front of your household, it catches fire. I command it to be crushed by fire right now in the mighty 
name of Jesus. I crush every obstacle, every obstacle from your father's house, from your mother's house, whatever covenants that were made that were going to suppress you and keep you down, they are crushed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. The supernatural power of God shall quickly and, and, and remove any hardship, any despair from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I command health to come to that person that is believing God for health in your body right now. Every ache, every pain from your body, it leaves right now. It is being dispelled from your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will speed up your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no name that is above the name of Jesus. Whether the name is cancer, whether the name is fibroids, I declare and I decree, whether it is a painful neck or whether it's a painful head, I declare and I decree. There is a name that is above every other name, and that name is Jesus. And at the mention of that name, every knee must bow. That means every sickness, every disease must bow. Every Egyptian must leave. It must leave. It must leave. They must leave. They must pack up and go. The Lord is restoring you. The Lord is restoring the years that have been taken from you in the mighty name of Jesus. God will speed up your deliverance from every misfortune that you have been that you have been experiencing in the name of Jesus. Every demonic dream, God is speeding up you. He's taking you out of there in the mighty name of Jesus. Every relationship you have had with any evil covenant, I break it now in the name of Jesus. I break it right now. It's crushed by fire. Father, we rise, we rise, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the living God to go into shrines, to go into altars where our names have been mentioned by evil doers, by those who have plotted badly against us. We rise, oh God, we come in with boldness, knowing that you, we are moving with your great army that is coming to restore our possessions that is coming to restore our destinies, that is coming to restore our stars, that is going to make sure that our stars continue to shine. We break every altar, every shrine. In the mighty name of Jesus, we remove our names from every evil shrine. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, my God, my Father, my Father, I pray, Lord, that you rise up today to destroy all our enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody's testimony will be accelerated today. Somebody's testimony will be accelerated in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive your accelerated testimonies in your home, in your businesses, in the name of Jesus. You will experience new miracles and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. You will experience wonders for your descendants as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord enhance your rise and growth today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, shakarabaya sande de 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 she. I wish you could type a believing amen. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Guys, I'm out of time. I'm out of time. We've gone to our 30 minutes, but thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bask. We bask in this speed. This week is your week of supernatural speed. Do not slow down for the enemy. This week is your supernatural speed week. Continue to declare it even beyond. Continue to meditate on those scriptures. The Lord is destroying every sign of stagnancy in your life. Every sign of stagnancy in your life, it is released in the name of Jesus. Permanently by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of pride arrogance that has been standing or denying you your opportunities. I break it now. You are breaking loose from anything that would hinder you from the spirit of God, releasing that supernatural speed for you in Jesus mighty name. Oh, some of you are standing in the gap for your family members. I want you to type their name and put supernatural speed. Whatever you are believed, supernatural speed, whatever you've been praying for, just type the name of the person and just say supernatural speed, supernatural speed, fortune, supernatural speed. I don't know who you've been standing in the gap for. Just type supernatural speed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Kadiba Shondo, do, do, do. let your mercy bring speed, oh God. Let your mercy bring speed. Let your mercy bring speed. Mercy will speak for you, offense. Mercy will speak for you, Shasha. Mercy, 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 mercy. Father God, Father, we thank you. We stand in the gap for Lord. 
Father, you did not raise us to be barren. You did not raise us to be barren. Father God, like you spoke for Sarah, Lord, like you spoke for Hannah, Lord, I speak a release of the anointing of Hannah upon Shasha right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare and I decree that children are a blessing from God and therefore she shall conceive in the mighty name of Jesus. Korebe sheketakaya. Roshondo do 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 bosa. Hila brasokote diaba sonda diaba sanda. Rekeshe kete. Father God, like the, like the, the, the prophet spoke, Lord, for the Shunamite woman, oh God. Father, we stand in the gap in agreement, Lord, for Shasha right now. Shasha Charles Williams, you will conceive in the mighty name of Jesus. Korebe she kete. Rakosonda, it is granted. Begin, receive it now. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you for my child right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Korebe shikonda diabasa. Ikalabra sokonde diabasande. Gugu. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Supernatural speed for that business. Supernatural speed for Lynette. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural speed for Audrey. I see you. Kehinde, I see you. In the name of Jesus. Rwande, supernatural speed. Stated, mercy is speaking for you. Rakosoko toko diabe. Rekisondo diabasonda diabasonda. Ikalabra sonde diabasonda. Mm. Supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. The Lord is releasing you into ministry, some of you here. Mm -mm. Says it's been enough, too much waiting. Praise the Lord. Yes, Shashi. You begin to rejoice. Do not even, from now on, just thank him. Thank him and come back with a testimony. Your testimony has already been released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same anointing that was on Hannah, that was released by the priest on Hannah, it is on you. In the name of Jesus. User 127, you've been waiting for three years. They that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Your strength is being renewed tonight. I confirm and I decree and I declare it. It is not by might, not by power. User 127, you will conceive in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to any strength that has been talking against you those that have laughed at you and said you will not conceive they will they will they will be amazed when you conceive in the mighty name of jesus oh father we thank you for that visa for pamela in the mighty name of jesus mm. thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord will put people's mouth, some people's mouth are about to be quiet. Those who have been speaking and wondering why you are not conceiving, Makoshika. I feel it so much for user 127. It's like people have been talking behind your back and saying that you will not conceive, but God is about to show off with you. God is about to show off total restoration, restoration of everything in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God did it for me. God did. I like that te testimony. Yes, offense. Offense is standing in agreement and confirming that God did it for her and therefore he will do it for you, Shashe. It will, he will do it for you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, shikonda di amasonda. Pastor Frank, thank you so much. God bless you. Makerebe shekete. Kira basonda. I speak expansion for every man of God that is on this broadcast. Every man and woman of God. Everyone who has called, been called into ministry. Those who are trying to find your purpose and your calling. May God confirm his hand is upon you. He says, do not give up. Do not give up. Keep going. Keep going. He says, he said today, he says, continue to cast your bread upon many waters for there surely will be a reward for you. Continue. Do not give up. Do not give up. God is going to expand your territory. Territory. Your territory is not only in numbers. He says, he will, I will confirm my hand is upon you. I will confirm with signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. No more stagnancy. No more stagnancy. Hallelujah. 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 When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. We were like them that dreamed. Hallelujah. I just want to see the people on, on Facebook. Hallelujah. Catherine, says, Kathy, God is releasing supernatural speed for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Elizabeth, God is releasing uh, supernatural speed for you. Makorebe Shikonda. Zago, I release supernatural speed. May your books that you have authored find expression in tables that you have not even begun to knock on. The doors that you have not even presented. Public 
establishers will look for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord open doors and more ideas for you to publish more in the name of Jesus. Shamein, makore beshekete, rikosa takala basande, ekerereshi ondadaraba. Hey, Jesus. Shamein Anisha, supernatural speed for you, my darling. Total restoration for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for blessing the family of Brian Keith in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for Gerald Zipper in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for meeting them at the point of their needs. Father, we thank you, Lord. You are the God of a thousand hills. Lord, you are the God of silver and gold. Hallelujah. We pray for the husband of Shasha as well, Father God. Father, we pray for promotion and increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said your children will not beg for bread. Therefore, every single person that is listening to the sound of my voice, Father God, give them supernatural speed in the area of their finances, Father God. We speak to those debts, oh God. We speak debt cancellation in the name of Jesus. For, for God, we know that you are able to give us supernatural wisdom on how to deal with this Things. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are opening doors of finances. Nobody should be jobless, oh God. Your children should be able to testify, oh God. And we thank you, Lord, that you are bringing those answers, Father God. We thank you for the jobs that are being released right now. Receive your job right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your promotion, my God. Father God, you are the one who is the source of our prosperity. You are the one who will release it for us in Jesus' mighty name. Position those that need to go into business as well in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father God, let those business begin to flourish. We call customers in, my God. We call divine ideas and wisdom, my God. Lord, let their business continue be, to be patronized beyond their imagination. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, guys, I've gone so much over time, and I don't want to hold you back. I think this weekend, by fri Friday or Saturday, we're going to have a longish time. We're going to have an all night. Amen. We will be here. I, I've been waiting on God just to release this weekend. We are having an all night right here. We'll probably be more on TikTok. We'll be actually on all the channels. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much, Facebook and YouTube. God bless you so much. Continue to rest in the anointing. Continue to rest in the anointing. I confirm that supernatural speed will go with you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, guys. We meet each other tomorrow, same time, same place, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock tomorrow. 10 o'clock tomorrow, Tuesday. And don't forget my birthday on Wednesday, okay? So we'll see to each other tomorrow, Tuesday, same time, same place, 10 o'clock South African Standard Time. God bless you. Goodbye.